What's up travelers? So in this video we are in Olympia, Washington at a place called Cove where we are going to try a very interesting dish, a Hawaiian style take on nachos. And it sounds like it's going to be really interesting so it's a poke nachos and we are also getting some clam chowder and some Thai style chicken wings. So stick around, check it out. My name is Anthony Harding. This is Tasting Travel. Welcome to the show. As of the time of recording this, we currently have 2,045 subscribers. We are on a mission to get up to 5,000 as soon as we possibly can. So if you enjoyed this video, please throw down a like button, hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, all that kind of stuff, and let's get to that goal. We have over 300 videos of where we've been traveling around the world, eating and sampling some of the world's best food. So hitting that subscribe button is gonna be well worth your time. Thank you, love y'all, and let's get to this food. Here we have it. We have our poke nachos. We have our tomato bisque soup. We've got our king clam chowder and we have our Thai style wings. Oh man, this stuff looks just absolutely killer. All right, so we're gonna start with the poke nachos. So these, uh, this is a Hawaiian inspired take on nachos. It is a raw tuna poke with cabbage and pico de gallo and uh, a, some sort of a spicy cream sauce and the chips are actually wonton chips instead of regular corn tortilla chips like normal nachos so cheers mm. yeah that is delightful the, the wonton there it's a little bit a little bit weak and I think pretty easy to break these chips. Mm. But I gotta say, the mixture of all those ingredients together is just the perfect combination. Oh man, this is a great, great dish. Mm. So that sauce, it's, it's creamy, it's got a little bit, tiny bit of spice to it, it's got a nice tang to it, just, just a, an amazing, amazing sauce. I wish I could take it some home with me for myself. Mm. So this plate is the reason why I came here, because I thought it seemed like a really unique idea, and uh, I'm glad that I did, because this is a very, very good plate of nachos. Let's move on to something else here. All right, so now we have this clam chowder. They call it King King's Clam Chowder. And, oh man, there's so much. You gotta see this. There is so much, just chunks of clam and potato and all kinds of other stuff in there. It looks just fantastic. I think I picked a wrong time to come in because they're, heck, they got a big reservation coming in so they're moving all their tables and chairs and everything like that, making all kinds of noise. It makes it difficult to review, but yeah. So let's give this clam chowder a taste. Yeah, that is, that is great. Now I'm used to clam chowders that have kind of a thick broth, but this has a, it has a nice 
thin soupy broth the flavors that you get that you get the clam flavor of course but then there's some some ham in there that just really kind of takes you and just kind of hits you right in the taste buds with some smokiness oh man this is this is some good stuff well this cup of soup did not last long All right, now we're gonna try this tomato bisque. So, this is the consistency that I'm used to for clam chowder. Uh, but man, th this this smells like like you just walked into an Italian ristorante pasteria. It just oh man, that's just amazing smelling. Mm. Oh, that is good. <laughs> so far, this is probably the best thing that I've had here. It I mean, it's only the third thing I've had. Everything's been phenomenal. But this... Wow. This is something special. It's so... So tangy and that tomato just really really shines bright I and mean, it I haven't had anything to uh, any kind of a tomato sauce that has tasted this good since I was in Naples and that's really saying something because I eat a lot of good tomato stuff mm. yeah these uh these little cups of soup, they didn't last long. <laughs> now I guess we're gonna get into one of these chicken wings here. I mean, it's got peanuts on it, it's got cilantro, it's cooked in a, a peanut sauce I, uh, I've read and uh, Looks absolutely awesome. Yeah, this, this is good. My one critique is I think it could be just a tiny bit spicier. But like I said, the flavors are phenomenal. You get the earthiness of the peanuts. There is some spice to it, just not a whole lot of spice. Like I said, I, I think it would be so much better if I just kicked it up just a notch. The marinade that they used it is just amazing. Got a nice Asian smokiness to it, and it's a flavor that I'm glad I was able to find here in the United States. These nachos, they came with a wedge of lime, so I think that's probably a suggestion. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and do that. Mm. Oh yeah. And that just kind of gave it a, an extra bright note. And yeah. Got to kind of break these down, make them a little bit easier to eat. <laughs> so, this poke here, this is a showstopper. Mm. The, the fish itself, it's, it's, it's nice and fresh. Um, you can tell that, that the the lime juice that they that they kind of marinated it in to to kill all the parasites and everything, and it just it just really really makes it. Mm. But when you can get a bite with a little bit of everything in it. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
that's where this place really, really shines. I absolutely love the creativity of this dish. I would definitely come back for these. And the best part is you can get it during happy hour, so it's even cheaper. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah, this place is good. I want to come back. I want to try their burgers. I want to try everything on their menu because everything that I've had has been absolutely worth my time. Sometimes, you know, it's fate. I didn't even know about this place until today. I was doing some research and I found a place that was over at the Capitol Mall here. It was a place that was, you know, it was called Waffle Craze and they had some really, really cool ideas for waffles. There were savory waffle, waffles, sweet waffles. They had uh, uh, yeast dough instead of just a regular batter and I really wanted to try it but when I got there the place was closed for good and I talked to the guy who was in there and he said well, we're moving into a into a food truck so I'm going to check them out later hopefully but it made me have to go searching some more and I found this place and I saw that they had these nachos here and I was like you know what that sounds really interesting and fun let's go try it out and I am so glad that I did because, man, this place is awesome. So do I recommend that you come to Cove if you're in Olympia, Washington? I'm going to say hell yeah. This place is great. As far as I can tell, you can order anything on their menu. And it's going to be good. Plus, Sometimes they even have live music in here, so it could be a good time and a great meal all at the same time. Mm, definitely come here. Back onto these chicken wings. Mm. Yeah. Oh, man. This is so good. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal. Well, once again, if you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. Help us get to that 5,000 subscriber uh, goal that we got set. I would really appreciate it. And as always, eat great food.